You have the opportunity to become a singular brand, but know something very special, sustain growth, sustain your brand image. Q-tip, in my opinion, is like the brand to emulate because of the success they've had, they stick to their knitting and they know what they're known for and they know what they're not known for. I don't take myself very seriously, but I do take what I do very seriously, whether it's delivering a keynote, moderating my CEO panel at the Harvard Business School, or doing my podcast. I have an unending passion to educate, inspire, and entertain my audiences. Marketing is a battle of categories. And I want to illustrate this by showing you a lot of cool brands on the screen that really are category leaders. Take for example Zumba. How many of you do Zumba here? Okay. I do it too and I love it. Started 15 years ago. Today, Zumba is taken by 12 million people every week. They're in 187 countries and there's 200,000 classes a week being taught. It's huge, but they created that category. So if you can't dominate the category, create the category. I love taking my attendees on a journey with me to take a fresh look at their brand, to really examine what are they really truly selling. Take for example, Holly Davidson. They're selling freedom and Disney selling happiness. Time Bahama is selling island living and Nordstrom is selling customer service. So you have to take a deep dive and say to yourself, what are we truly selling that resonates, that mostly connects to our customer to ensure we have legions of fans forever? They moved to California, San Francisco. They couldn't afford rent. They said, ah, there's a conference in town and we see these hotels are all booked. Let's go buy three air mattresses. We'll charge breakfast, eight dollars a person. We'll do a website, air mattress and breakfast, and we'll see what happens. 10 years later, 150 million people use Airbnb. The value of the company is $31 billion. Huge. Two kids, saw an idea, $31 billion later. You know, so I'm, you know, reflect on everybody here. It can be done. You know, strive and you shall succeed. There's a saying that I, I love it. And it is, people who are saying it can't be done are watching those getting it done. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, do not where the path may lead, go instead to where there's no path and leave a trail. His mantra has guided me for years in building leading brands and I enjoy sharing my nuggets of wisdom with my audiences to ensure they differentiate their brand, they don't have a me too brand, and most importantly, they don't fall into the sea of sameness. We've had the privilege of welcoming Larry to speak at University of Rhode Island, Salve Regina University, and a few of the corporations that I've worked with. He is so easy to work with from start to finish. He's entertaining and absolutely delightful. Before I had met Larry and just was talking with him on the phone, I'm like, I've got to meet this man. If he's engaging me over the phone, how is he going to engage the audiences I'm working with? He's never failed to surprise and delight. You get the real thing on the stage. You get some funny, off-the-cuff stories, but then he comes right back to the central core of, his, of the topic that he is speaking on. So it's our privilege and we look forward to welcoming Larry back for many other sessions in the years to come. We need to clone him. So it's up to you to be creative and genius, right? And, and really, don't push the envelope. I hate when people say, think out of the box. Out of the box to me is a yawner. It was, it was popular 20 years ago. To me, be inventive. You want to invent new things. Bold, disruptive, inventive. That's what makes it happen.